Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Secrets of Yield. And today I'm going to be sharing my secrets on how to build a strong siren. Now there's going to be three options. Uh, the first option is going to be like the cheapest one. Uh, typically what you want to run uh, if your siren is under MK1 level 9. Uh, the second one is going to be more geared towards, I think, most players, uh, MK1 level 9 and above. And the third option, which I'm actually going to show some gameplay of, is typically what I use uh, when I do run the siren uh, at max level. So the first option we have here is the cheapest one. Now, this is going to be for the players who have a siren that's MK1 level 9 um, and below. I would say between level 7 and 9. Uh, you want two damage modules. So we have two nuclear reactors here, but if you have thermonuclear reactor, um, overdrive, a nuclear amplifier, I would use those modules uh, instead of using the nuclear reactor. We have armor kit, and uh, once again, if you have heavy armor kit, um, balance unit, repair amplifier, last stand, I would use those modules instead of the armor kit. We have repair unit. Um, some players ask me, why don't I use advanced repair? Um, because this robot, um, you know, at this stage is really low level, it doesn't really have that much health. Uh, there's no point using advanced repair and burning up uh, power cells, um, you know, if your robot doesn't really have that much health. So I'd stick to um, the repair unit. In terms of the pilot, I would stick with Yang Li if you can get this pilot. So this pilot allows you to ignore energy shields, as you can see here. And here's just a couple of uh, pilot skills I have. Um, I would say the important ones are Roadhog, um, Armor Expert. Um, you know, these two, Thrill Seeker and Survivor, are really good as well to amp up your damage. Uh, Death Survivor is really good as well. And, you know, other options, Quartermaster, Mechanic. Those are also really good uh, pilot skills uh, for your uh, pilot. Now, we're going to take a look at uh, the drone here. So, I kind of went with a really cheap one. I believe you can get this in the store for silver so five million silver and i have the following uh, drone chips okay so freezer and on module use damage and i'll put a couple of other you know damage chips you could use as well if you don't have this one so that's going to be option number one okay so option number two this is going to apply to the players who have um, a siren at mk1 level 9 uh, moving to mk2 so you want two damage modules once again um, if you have like thermonuclear reactor um, you know nuclear amplifier which is actually better than both of these you want to level up uh, the nuclear amplifier but if you have to choose between the overdrive and the balance unit i would actually go with the balance unit because uh, this module over here not only gives you uh, you know more health but also more damage uh, not by much but this module you can apply to tanks so you're basically leveling up a module uh, which can work on the siren but also on your tanks and you're just getting better value uh, for your resources that way um, i do have last stand and i do run this module on the extreme build which i'm going to show right at the end uh, after the gameplay so make sure you stay tuned for that um, we've got advanced repair because remember your siren's going to have more health now so it makes uh, sense actually using advanced repair we've got the yang li pilot once again all the pilot skills are the same and in terms of the uh, drone here so we do have the beak so we have uh, one on repair unit defense two on repair unit damage chips and one on mild damage absorber now i know some players uh, do ask me about the on damage uh, dealt chip this one here this actually works but it only works on certain builds okay so I think the other one might be a safer bet in terms of uh, which chip to go for. But I will be using this in the extreme build and that's going to be coming up uh, right now. Okay, so we've just dropped in on row map. Um, I have started with the Skyros first because uh, this is Beacon Rush for starters. And I also think it's really important to uh, also show players, you know, when is the optimum time to drop in with, in this case, it's going to be the, the uh, Siren. Let's try to maybe get rid of this uh, scorpion here. Yeah, that guy got hit really bad. This one's going to get killed too. Okay, so I did get in with the uh, the EMP there. Let's just go into this ball mode. The scorpion's going to be attacking here soon. 
I did, uh... Oh, I didn't EMP him. I thought I did. Oh, wait. There he is. <laughs> okay, so... Now that we kind of have this area cleared out... Let's just look at the map. I'm going to drop in over here. We're going to probably give up our home based on what I'm seeing. Um, target the shell first so you can uh, charge up my nuclear amp. So we want to do that. Um, and then we're going to target this one here. Let's just put the shield up. This guy might want to watch uh, over here. Dude, this side. Uh-oh. Okay, so I'm going to need to help my uh, teammate here with this guy. This is the only uh, reason why I didn't start with uh, the siren. <laughs> because you end up giving up a lot of beacons if you aren't careful. So you can see we are starting to lose actually the left side too. Um, Uh-oh. We're going to give that up, I think. Oh, no! Okay, now we're really in a lot of trouble. This is why you don't start with the siren. I should have waited a little bit longer. Um, maybe I can get this guy. And uh, lock this one down. I'm trying to see if I can drift into the center here. Am I going to make it? Oh, come on. I didn't. I'm trying to lock as many players as possible. Can we get into the center here? Maybe I can lock... Uh, oh, you know what? I think that's an Odin's. Okay, let me put a shield up. We're in so much trouble right now. Uh, okay, actually, wait. I think... Uh, I think one of their players might have uh, crashed. But we only have three players here. Oh, wait, there's five. I think this guy crashed. Oh my gosh, his health. Wow, beyond godlike. That is what happens when you are charged up. I'm trying to lock this guy down here. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get that beacon. So uh, let's do this. Yeah, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Like I said, this is the extreme damage build. And you can see why I say that. We're kind of making a comeback here, though. I think he's going to drop in on this side. I'm guessing someone's going to drop in over here. Maybe with a titan? Let's see. They have three players. Um, okay. I'm going to go into flight. Let's try to help out over here on this side. Uh, where is this guy? Living legend. This one here. Living legend. Is he going to drop in over here? Man, talk about a comeback. But you know what? I think some of the players crashed. going to flight trying to help out here with this guy maybe lock him down living legend man they have a lot of Fenrir's here I'm not sure if we're going to win with uh, so many Fenrir's um, let me put another shield this is usually when you want to kind of ditch this and you know drop in with oh man they got their titans out drop in with your titan I'll stick in this bot because this video is about it so I'll stay in this spot for as long as possible. Uh, maybe I can lock that luchador down. I'm going to see if I can perhaps push this other beacon here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, you know what? I don't think we're going to end up winning. <laughs> Might as well make the best out of this uh, video here. If I can, maybe uh, take out that behemoth. Wow, that guy's really, really tanky. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to win this game, but at least you guys got to see just how deadly uh, this build is. Now, a couple of things that I do caution players. If you're playing uh, Beacon Rush, uh, Domination, it's not so bad, but Beacon Rush especially, don't drop in with your Siren, okay? So, uh, drop in with your Siren towards, uh, like, mid to late game. Okay, so here is option number three. So this is the extreme build. I do have two nuclear amplifiers on here. Uh, this is going to allow me to achieve the uh, 95 stacks a lot quicker, um, especially with this build. We have last stand, advanced repair, um, the Yangli pilot, all of the pilot skills are the same. 
and uh, where it's going to change is the drone so i do have the paralysis this time uh this one has the uh, built-in lockdown uh we have the freezer chip because uh, once i freeze a player up they're going to take on 20 percent more damage and uh, for this particular build, you want the on damage dealt uh, chips. So I have two of them and the on mild damage absorber. So anyways, guys, that is the extreme build for this siren in the comment section below. Let me know which robot I should do next for this series. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.